Hey, my name is Jeff Jones with Keller Williams right here in the heart of Mobile, Alabama. Now, right now I'm standing in front of the Fusackley's Chicken Place, actually in Sims, Alabama, and that's to let you know that we're not going to stay in Mobile today. In this video, we're going to talk about the different cities or towns outside of Mobile. We're going to go all the way up to Satsuma, then to Saraland, then to Chickasaw, even in Pritchard, and then way on out to Sims where I am now. But people call me all the time, they send text messages, emails, and they let me know, hey, I'm interested in maybe moving to Mobile, I want to know more about it. So call the number on the screen or shoot me an email, and don't forget to like or subscribe so that you can get notified every time a new video drops because we're making videos every single week. So let's get into this as we start with Satsuma, go to Saraland, and all the way down to Sims, Alabama. Let's go. So if you're considering moving to the Mobile, Alabama area, well you need to stay tuned because in this video, we're going to talk about the top cities on the outskirts of Mobile, so stay tuned as we dive in. Now when a lot of people think of Satsuma, Alabama, especially if you live in Mobile, um, for a lot of folks, they think of the travel center, the pilot gas station on the side of the road just off of Highway 43, uh, off of I-65, but there's a lot more to Satsuma than just the travel center. So this will give you an idea of a neighborhood in Satsuma. This is uh, just off of Highway 43. Uh, this is called Vaughn's Palisade, and I've actually got a friend who lives on here. It's a nice area. Of course, a lot of cleanup from after the hurricane, but you can just imagine what it would look like without all of the tree branches in the yard. Now, when you think of a small town America, I think Satsuma would be a great, uh, I guess a great example of that. You've got a lot of mom and pop restaurants, uh, different stores, and this is a great example. This is uh, the Bay City Grill, one of the most popular restaurants in Satsuma. And from what I understand, they have some great food. So we're taking a little stroll by uh, some of the schools in Satsuma. And then we're heading to the high school. So if you'll notice, this is Highway 43. Uh, it runs north and south, parallel to I-65. And then this, as we cross over the railroad track, this is old Highway 43. And what we're looking at is Satsuma High School. And I've got a friend who teaches there, known several people who go there, and they all love it. So when you think about the city of Satsuma, uh, they're just over 6,000 people, so pretty small town. Um, but if you wanna live in Mobile and you don't wanna live like in the hustle and bustle of the city, then Satsuma is a great choice because it's north. Uh, probably took me about 20 minutes to get to Satsuma, and so, Satsuma is just a great area. It's kind of got that small town vibe. And as you can tell, they like their flags. Now the city that is just below Satsuma is called Saraland. And I spent a lot of time in Saraland when I was in college because I actually went to the University of Mobile, which is, it's really close to Saraland. There's a lot of speculation. Is it Saraland, Eight Mile, Mobile, Pritchard? But uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But Saraland is a booming area. I'm talking people are coming from all around just for one simple reason, and that is the school system. Uh, it is on fire, property values are going through the roof, uh, but we're going to give you a little tour of Saraland because it is a great place to call home. I love Saraland. It's got a lot to offer. It's like a little bit larger, so it's not quite a small town, but it's got a really thriving YMCA. It's got a lot of shopping, several major grocery stores. You've got a Rouse's, you've got Publix. Of course, you've got Super Walmart. And of course, uh, in some of my other videos, I've talked about the famous Chicken Finger Place in Mobile. It has its very own Fusackley's location, and there's just a lot of great things about the city of Saraland. So that is the place where I met my wife for the very first time about 20 years ago. I used to go to church in Saraland, and uh, that's where we got married. So I have a special place in my heart for the city of Saraland. So one of the busiest sections of Saraland, you've got this uh, growing shopping center here. And then of course, back on this side, you've got the Super Walmart 
and one of my favorite places. My dentist actually lives, uh, or his, uh, his practice is in Saraland. The Farney Brothers, that place is amazing. And then of course you've got a really large church up here on the left. You've got a famous seafood place, and again the Chicken Finger place. So this is like the hub of Saraland. It's right next to the interstate. And the traffic can be rough here, you know, depending on rush hour, but this is the place to be. Now, as we're leaving Saraland, you can tell this place is booming. You've got a Publix, you've got, of course, Popeyes, has a sweet, sweet spot in my heart, uh, a couple hotels, you've got a Cracker Barrel, and a medical center that is really growing, and this place is on fire. That place right there, that is the main reason that people are moving to Saraland, Alabama. Saraland High School, People love it. I couldn't forget about the city of Chickasaw. Chickasaw is like this little place in between Saraland and Pritchard, and it's like a hidden gem just north of Mobile. So when you think about Chickasaw, there are a lot of older homes, very established. As you can tell, it's a very quiet street. Uh, the city of Chickasaw, um, it is a place you can go to really have a small town vibe. So obviously you've got staple in the community, you've got the Chickasaw United Methodist Church, and then we're gonna head this way. We're gonna actually go to the Civic Center and the library. So this is Highway 43. Uh, this is in, I guess, like the heart of Chickasaw. You've got different churches, you've got schools. Um, this is like a hub. Uh, when you think of old Chickasaw, this is it. And I love this area. Uh, now it's gonna take you on into Pritchard, which we're heading there next. But this is a truly small town vibe. <laughs> To my left, you've got Viger High School, and if you've ever been to Mardi Gras, their band really knows how to get down. So when you think of Pritchard, Alabama, Pritchard is right next to downtown, uh, kind of intersects with I-165, I-65, it's kind of right there, um, everything comes together, has a population of around 22,000 people, and it is really close to downtown Mobile. And now we're coming up on this area. There have been a lot of changes. There's some, some buildings that are no longer open, but this used to be a very active, thriving part um, of the overall Mobile community. So one of the things that Pritchard is known for is they have some really strong churches. And this church here, uh, they do a lot for the community and just have a huge influence on the area in Pritchard. Uh, they have community events. I've actually been there before. My daughter had a program with her elementary school, but every time you ride by the interstate, you can see the church off to the side, and uh, they're just doing some really amazing things. So we are officially entering Sims, Alabama, and one of the greatest things about Sims is they are the newest city to call home to Yellowhammer Coffee. Yep. Another great thing about Sims is across the street, actually catty corner from Sims, is another Fusackley's location. And I tell you, when there's a Fusackley's location, you know that that city is thriving. It's a great location. Um, it's, in, I, it's in the front of a super Walmart. So this area is a very popular area, a lot of traffic. Um, this is right off, I mean, this is Moffett Road, Highway 98. Lots of traffic in this area, but Sims is a growing area because people want to live in Mobile, but they don't want to I guess they don't want to have all of the hustle and bustle of the city. So living in Sims affords you that opportunity. You're kind of out a little bit, but you're still close enough to be, I guess, connected with the city. And one of the things that Sims has a lot of are nurseries. Lots of nurseries and uh, lots of rural areas. 
And like I said, once again, another nursery. So I'm standing in front of what is some of my favorite pizza in all of Mobile. It's at the Sims House of Pizza. I'm telling you, if you haven't been here, you have to go here. But let me just give you a little overview of where we are. So this is right off of Snow Road, okay? So Caddy Corner, over that way, you've got uh, Mary G. Montgomery High School. Then behind Mary G. Montgomery, you've got Sims Elementary School. And then probably half a mile from there, you've got Sims Middle School. So all this is really tight-knit area. And if you go down maybe a half a mile, then you're gonna see um, Highway 98, Moffett Road. So all this intersects Sims. It's a really tight-knit community. But if you have not tried this pizza, I'm telling you, holds a special place in my heart. It's the best pizza around. So this is a sample of some of the neighborhoods, types of houses in Sims. This is actually right across the street from Mary G. Montgomery High School, the middle school, the elementary school. I'd say this is probably an average sized neighborhood for Sims. Probably around 100 to, I don't know, 105, $110 a square foot. These houses are gonna range from probably 1,800 to 2,500 square feet. So this is a good sample. All right, now I know I already mentioned that Yellowhammer Coffee had a location in Sims, but people love Yellowhammer so much that they actually have a separate trailer location right across from the high school. And every now and then I'll sneak in there and grab a cup because it is a cup of goodness. So we wrap up my tour of Sims, Alabama at my favorite chicken place, Fusackley's. And I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of the the cities and the towns that are outside of the main city of Mobile. You know, so we've got Satsuma, Saraland, Pritchard, Chickasaw, Sims, all of these areas are, well, they have a lot of folks that live there and maybe they don't want to live exactly in the heart of Mobile, but they still want the benefits of living close to Mobile. So in living close to Mobile, you get the benefits of having, you know, a thriving downtown, but then like Sims, you're kind of out there a little bit and you get to enjoy a little bit of a rural area. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Every time we release a new video, we try to give you something new about the city of Mobile, what it's like living in Mobile. But I need you to like and subscribe so we can continue to make these videos and get the word out there. Now, so in the comments, ask me a question. Say, hey, where would you like for me to shoot the next video? You have a neighborhood, a town, a city, anything else that I haven't covered, let me know and I'll be happy to hop in this car and drive around town and shoot a video just for you.